This is an ABC News special report. Good evening, I'm Juju Chang at ABC News headquarters here in New York, and we're interrupting your regular programming with breaking news. We're learning details about what officials are calling a mass casualty event playing out in Lewiston, Maine, home to Bates College, about 45 minutes north of Portland, Maine. Law enforcement sources there say at least 16 people are dead and dozens more injured. A bowling alley came under fire, and there are additional reports of shots fired at a local bar and a Walmart distribution center. The local sheriff's office releasing these photos of the possible shooter. The suspect is still at large and authorities are asking the public to shelter in place and for businesses to remain closed. Maine's governor Janet Mills has posted, I am aware of and have been briefed on the active shooter situation in Lewiston. I urge all people in the area to follow the direction of state and local law enforcement. I will continue to monitor the situation and remain in close contact with public safety officials. This is clearly an active shooter event still underway. The suspect still at large. And joining me now is ABC News senior investigative reporter Aaron Katursky. Aaron, I know you've been on the phone with law enforcement sources. What are you hearing? We're hearing that there are at least preliminarily 16 people that have been killed in this shooting in Lewiston, Maine. That seems to have unfolded in three different locations, as you know, Juju, a bowling alley, a bar or restaurant, and a Walmart distribution center. The fear is there are dozens more injured and numbers are still fluctuating. Right now, because the shooting still remains active and the suspect is not in custody, people are being told to stay indoors. Businesses are being urged to close. Neighboring New Hampshire is setting up roadblocks to prevent a possible escape across state lines. And the FBI is now moving aviation assets into the area to help with the search. And we're seeing now surveillance video, what looks like grainy surveillance images of the suspected shooter. We're seeing police evacuating the area, citizens running clearly on the authority of law enforcement. Joining me now is ABC News Chief Justice Correspondent Pierre Thomas. Pierre, what are you hearing? Well, federal authorities are deeply concerned about this. Uh, sources confirming to me multiple, multiple fatalities, multiple injured, as Aaron pointed out, uh, multiple locations, uh, law enforcement um, descending on the area, the FBI sending assets, making all resources available. Uh, I expect that the attorney general will be briefed very shortly on this situation. Uh, again, it's being described to me extremely volatile, extremely dangerous situation with the suspect still at large. Pierre, we're also being told that the president has now been briefed on the situation. This is clearly an active shooter situation underway. The suspect still at large. Uh, we talked about federal assets being moved into place. And joining me now is former FBI agent and ABC News contributor ba Brad Garrett. Brad, I know you're being briefed on this situation, too. What are you hearing? Well, the, the big advantage you have here is Lewiston is not that big. You, because you have three locations, I think it really increases the odds that somebody knows who the shooter is. Because you're going to probably or do have survivors in each location, I presume. So with that, you can start tracking this guy. Obviously, the big concern, if he's hit three targets and he's continuing to move, is that is he going to a fourth or fifth target? Uh, and that's a big concern, obviously, and that's why the shelter in place, et cetera, is, is going on. You will combine assets, as both of them have mentioned, uh, about aviation from the FBI. I mean, you'll get everybody to come out to help you do this. But the real key, obviously, is intelligence. Who is this guy? And I'm going to guess in short order, if they don't know already, who he is. And Brad, what do you make of that image that we're seeing now, that grainy surveillance image? What kind of weaponry are we looking at? Looks like to me an AR-15 or some version of it. It could be an M4. I'd have to see it closer. But uh, it looks like to me you know, that he's got some sort of extended magazine. I mean, typically those weapons, you can maybe shoot up to 25 or 30 rounds with a standard magazine. So. Uh, that, that's why you have so many people shot. I'm going to guess the, the number is probably really big as to the number of people injured. Uh, and you've got to find this guy quickly because is he, as I mentioned earlier, going to go on to another location? Uh, but it, that's sadly, Juju, the weapon of choice with these mass shooters. They're easy to shoot. 
and if you're shooting in close order, uh, you can really harm a lot of people. And Brad, as Pierre mentioned, a very volatile situation, a suspect still at large, an active shooter situation underway in Lewiston, Maine. Aaron Katursky, what more can you add in terms of perspective on this unfolding situation? Oh, Maine State Police are now urging people to stay in their home with doors locked. Law enforcement is currently investigating at multiple locations. Maine State Police say stay off the streets, allow law enforcement to defuse the situation. They're very concerned that additional shots could be fired with this suspect still on the loose, and so they are bringing as many assets to bear as they can aviation, roadblocks in, in neighboring New Hampshire, and other resources, with at least 16 people believed to be dead so far, according to law enforcement sources, and dozens more feared to be injured. The Maine hospital taking uh, the casualties, Central Maine Medical Center, uh, says it is reacting to this mass casualty shooter event. They are not confirming any numbers, but they are going to be overwhelmed, so they're going to be coordinating with additional hospitals in Lewiston and the surrounding area. And once again, the governor of Maine monitoring the situation. We're told that the president has been briefed. Pierre Thomas, what are you hearing from the Justice Department? Well, one of the things you do is in a situation where the president is briefed this quickly, I can tell you that the scale is something that they're deeply, deeply concerned about. Also, uh, a source I was speaking to a moment ago was just mortified at what they were being told. Um, also, the notion that the so the weaponry here uh, is something that law enforcement is now going to have to be prepared for. I expect tactical teams to be uh, in play here. Uh, that is an all-hands-on-deck situation uh, with federal authorities trying to get there as soon as possible to offer whatever assistance they can offer. Pierre Thomas from D.C., thank you. Aaron Kaczorski, I know you'll stay on top of this. Once again, an active shooter situation at a bowling alley in Lewiston, Maine, as well as additional reports of shots fired at a local bar and a Walmart distribution center. You're looking there at surveillance images. Of course, we will continue to monitor this developing story. Our coverage continues on ABC News Live and ABCNews.com. I'm Juju Chang at ABC News World Headquarters in New York. We return you now to your regular programming. This has been a special report from ABC News. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.